would like chopstick and eggs. Let's make it four eggs over medium. You want onions to go with the chopstick? No onions, please. Hash browns? Nothing else. Okay. And an order of bacon. Okay. Higgly Wiggly, I like to call it. The Wiggly Bacon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see what the cameraman wants to eat. We're going to let him eat today. And I think I'm going to go for the grilled bacon chicken cheese deluxe plate, please. And if I can get my hash browns scattered, smothered, and capped, please. Yeah, everything's good on the sandwich. Awesome, thank you so much. Awesome. Are you aware that FEMA has what they call a Waffle House Index? What it is, it's a description of how well an area has recovered after a, uh, after a disaster. Red, yellow, and green. Red would be that the Waffle House is shut down, things are bad. So if you go by uh, Waffle House and they're shut down following a disaster, just keep on going. That's not the place where you want to be. Yellow is that they're there and they're operating off of a limited menu. Uh, I experienced this once after Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana. Waffle House was open, but they were very limited in what you could have. I think you're able to get grits, eggs, uh, bacon and coffee and soda drinks until they ran out. Green is everything's back to normal. Everything's good and Waffle House is on a full menu. So I just thought I would share that with you. I thought it was interesting when I found out that FEMA actually had a Waffle House index in the way that they look at areas uh, after a natural disaster.